The fast nacht is lasting a couple more days and players are exchanging their rare masks with legacies. Also, the Fallout for Her project is raising funds for Texas. It's news time. Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. What has been happening in Appalachia? Well, you are about to find out. I hope you had better luck farming Fastnacht Day than I did so far. And while you can enjoy the event a couple more days, you can even trade your new rear masks for legacy items if you want. Mm -hmm. Now, I will also go over the recent server issues reported this past weekend, and I will cover a live exploit which blocks damage and can enable some sort of invisibility. The Fallout for Her project is back with a new cause, and Earl keeps getting stuck in the monoga mine. Anyway, there's a lot more, so without any further delays, let's crack into it for the juicy details. As usual, let's start with the great news which you may or may not know yet. Fastnacht Day was extended until February 25, the announcement was made last week, and the main reason was due to the recent events in the state of Texas. A massive snowstorm hit the region, causing all sorts of issues, from power and water shortages to fewer supply restocking, including fuel and even goods. I explained the entire situation in my latest news, so feel free to check it out if you're not familiar with what happened there. Now, needless to say that most Texans couldn't play for one reason or the other, and as such, Batazda decided to extend the Fastnacht Day for a few more days to obviously give everyone a chance to experience the event this year and at least allow them to enjoy a few days of Fastnacht. For everybody else, well, they are giving you a chance to farm it even further, increasing Using your chances to get the rear new masks or simply farm legendaries if that's what you want to do. Anyhow, it's not clear yet if the event will return later in 2021 or not, so make sure to make the most out of it while you still can. The next news is about something that is relatively positive, but it depends on your perspective. Players have been trading their rear new masks for legacy items, mostly legacy weapons. Don't believe me? Check out these posts from Market76. There are a lot of people doing such trades right now. That's indeed something great. It gives more people a chance to put their hands on a legacy, which by default doesn't drop in game anymore, which means these items are extremely rare and difficult to get. On the other hand, there are a lot of duplicated legacies in the market at this current point, so you are likely to put your hands on a not so legit item, but hey, if Batasda doesn't take care of that, I don't think you should worry too much about it either. So at the end of the day, you can either be a collector by keeping such rare masks while they are still rare, or you can trade them. Remember, duplication glitches are often in constantly emerging. I know Bethesda normally fixes them rather fast in a matter of days when they become public, but that's enough time for cheaters to create thousands and thousands of items and inject them into the market. So it's to be expected that will happen sooner or later. It's only a matter of time until the next duplication glitch pops and cheaters mass duplicate the new masks and then they won't be so rare anymore, will they? As such, I highly advise you to trade for other legacy items if you really, really want to have them. The same cannot be said in some months or maybe even weeks from now. You may be wondering, why are these masks so rare? Rare enough to be exchanged by legacy weapons? Well, my friends, the answer is very simple. They are one of the rarest items in game right now. They got released last week, and as far as I know, the duplication process didn't affect them yet, so the existent number for the Buffon, Brahmin and Demon masks are really, really low. The supply is way lower than the demand right now, and as such, it turns these masks into some kind of relic. For every event completed, with all five robots alive at the end, you get at only a 5% chance to trigger the rear mask category, which contains 8 entries, 8 masks, which means each one of them has about 0.6% chance to roll. That's a really low drop rate, and if the RNG gods don't favor you, it's unlikely that you will get your hands on all the 3 new masks. I said this in my previous video, and I will say it again. 
I completed the event over 200 times and still no new rare mask for me. The before I have was gifted to me just to make it clear. So it is indeed really, really difficult to roll these new masks. So it's kind of normal that people are using them as a trading coin to access other equal or even more valuable items, such as legacies or even region outfits. Well, now you have your answer, so let's proceed. The Fallout for Who project is back for another great cause to raise funds for Texas and the Austin Aryan Urban League. The project began at the end of last week and it's going through this entire week until Sunday. Dozens of content creators have already pledged to stream for this cause and over $11,000 have been raised to help Texans restore their normal lives, especially those who became homeless or were victims to major uh, damage in their houses. If you wish to contribute even with a cup of tea or coffee, you know, one or two dollars do make a difference. So go ahead and click the Fallout for Hope link below the video. I intend to stream as well to help a little bit in the following day, so stay tuned if you want to see me live. I don't stream that often, but I think such occasions are perfect to turn on my camera and interact with you guys while helping a good cause. All right, now let's move on to the not so great news, which give me no pleasure to cover really, but I try to be as realistic as possible. So I do have to cover the bad stuff too. I know some of you guys hate to see the bad side of 76, but try to understand my side. If it's what's happening right now and or it exists, it would be quite deceitful from my end not to mention it, at least when I'm aware such problems exist. Anyway, something that came to my attention lately is about a semi-god exploit. It's something similar to the old and now fixed god mode, which would turn you invisible. This one is a bit more soft and light. It does block most damage, such as ranged, explosive and fall damage, but you can still die from melee attacks and fire damage. Dying doesn't seem to reset this glitch though when it's active. On the other hand, and as far as I know, the effects go away as soon as you enter an instanced area, like the interior of a building, or if you serve a jump. Anyway, this glitch allows you to basically tank anything, including the queen. You can just stand still getting hit and you won't receive any damage. It's a really game-breaking cheat, especially in PvP. Unless you use fire damage there, you cannot kill players with such exploits active. So let's hope Bethesda manages to come up with a solution for this one with their next update. Next, we have an issue which is something we are all tired to experience at this point, and it's about servers running on a wheel basically. This past weekend, things went down the hill once again with hundreds of reports on social media. You know, the usual stuff, from failed to join server errors to sudden and repeated disconnects, or even unplayable server delay. We had it all, the full package, and I was lucky or unlucky enough to be online to experience one of these episodes, as you can see. One time I logged in, I tried to join a friend, and look at that, some didn't even have the join option for some strange reason and it took a while for the game to inform me the server I tried to join was not responding, as such the connection failed. I even asked around to make sure it was not just me and lots of people said they were disconnecting and having server issues that same day, it was on Saturday. I suspect this was due to higher influx of players trying to farm Fasna during the weekend but I could be wrong, maybe it was something else. Anyway, let's keep moving. In the past week, several of you have been asking me about Nuclear Winter, such as when is the next update coming, is hacking ever going to get fixed, and even if the mode will get disabled soon. Yeah, there's a rumor about that. Well, I don't work for Bethesda, so I'm afraid I don't have access to that kind of information, but what I can tell you here is that I haven't seen any official statements or announcements about Nuclear Winter in a very long time, so any rumors about Nuclear Winter shutting down are just that for now, rumors. As for everything else, I don't think an update is coming soon, as far as for hacking, it's still the same as usual. It's a heaven for cheaters there. They use all sorts of hacks, from flying to auto-aim and shooting through walls. 
it's dreadful and it's the main reason why I quit this mode. It's not fun in my perspective. Every few matches you get killed by a hacker and it's just not worth the time. But I do respect those who still play and enjoy this mode, even with all the issues. Next, I want to quickly mention that last week's Inside the Vault article did not go live as to be expected. I mean, Austin was under snow with no power or water. I highly doubt Bethesda was even working at the Austin's headquarters last Thursday, so it's only normal that no news were published. As such, I'm fairly confident the same won't happen this week, so stay tuned for a brand new article filled with juicy news in two days from now, this next Thursday. I have the next point on queue for a very long time, and that's mostly because I have been collecting footage about Earl getting stuck everywhere. It happens way too often in my view. Anyway, with Fastna, people basically stop nuking, and I haven't done Earl in about a week now, so I thought it was about time to talk about this one. Finally, so the problem here is that Earl is too tall, I think, and he ends up clipping through the assets there, such as the roof rocks or even the walls. As a result, he often gets stuck and it is true, most of the time he doesn't stuck himself, sooner or later, somehow, at least on my end on PC, but sometimes he doesn't. He just gets inside the rocks and stays there forever and ever. And when he dies stuck, there is no way to loot his body, which can easily deny you part of the event rewards. This is not necessarily a new problem, but rather a persistent one, which can be very game breaking if, you know, he gets fully stuck. It can result in an event failure at the worst case scenario. The best outcome is sometime in the limbo, you know, you lose time waiting for him to get out, or you can lose event rewards. So there's really nothing good coming from Earl getting stuck, is it? Well, let's hope Bethesda will fix this one at some point, but it's quite unlikely, unless they rework the cave and make it taller or something alike. I think that would be the best solution, but it's a very time-consuming one, so I'm afraid no fix will come anytime soon. Okay, the last news I have for you today is about hairstyles. One of the most popular requests for 76 in the past year or so. I see a suggestion like this almost every week, either on Reddit, on Twitter, or on Bethesda's farms. Players really, really want new hairstyles, tattoos, and even face paints. And I can totally understand why. I mean, we have basically the same stuff we had from the release days, with just a few little additions. But we are already in year 3 now, and the same old hairstyles are kinda boring to use at this point. Plus, we are in the wasteland, so where are all the badass punk raider haircuts, the cultist styles, the blood eagles? There are dozens of hairstyle mods for the previous Fallout games, so that's proof of two things. One, it's not so difficult to make new hairstyles, and secondly, People really love diversity and choice when it comes to hair. Otherwise, mothers wouldn't waste time making so many different hairstyles. Now, I remember to see a comment a while ago where a community manager said new hairstyles were on their agenda, so they might be working on it already. It's just they are normally quite slow in releasing new content. So that could be the reason why we didn't get any new styles yet. Either way, let's keep the pressure on with the requests and maybe sooner rather than later, we will see new hairstyles in the Atomic Shop. Closing in, the random bug for this news is this poor player who got stuck inside the wall while doing feed the people. Don't ask me how that happened. I, I swear I wasn't looking. I found him like this already and we did try to get him out by hitting him, but sadly it didn't work. The strange part is that his character eventually switched to this hands in the air position like he was falling down or through the map. I hope he relogged or changed servers, cause I'm not sure there was a way out of there. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. And yeah, expect a live stream soon. And if you guys have any bugs or issues to share with me, feel free to get in touch either through Twitter, Facebook, or my Discord. All the links are below the video. I often feature community suggestions as well. 
So feel free to contact me. I promise I don't bite. All right, that's it for now. I am Marta Branco. A huge thanks for all my supporters. You guys are the best. Don't forget to leave a like, comment below, and all these things if you enjoyed what you just saw. And I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye-bye.